we are talking about is you bringing your politics into your report. I did nothing of the kind. Where does politics not enter into this? Our story was about whether the president fulfilled his service. Nobody wants to talk about that. They want to talk about fonts and forgeries. And they hope to God the truth gets lost in the scrum. And that was from the new film Truth, starring Robert Redford and Kate Blanchett, which revisits the scandal at CBS News that brought venerable news anchor Dan Rather and producer Mary Mapes under harsh scrutiny. Joining us today to talk about the film is director James Vanderbilt. James, thank you so much for being with us. Thank you so much for having me. So this is based on Mary Mapes' 2005 book, correct? Yes, yes. So how involved was she in the film? She was involved in the sense that she was very open in terms of, of talking to us and, and taking us through what her experience was, which was amazing for me as a filmmaker to be able to sit there with the, the protagonist of the movie and say, how did this make you feel? What, you know, what was your reaction to this? So she was very involved in that. She knew at the end of the day there was never going to be an editorial component to her involvement. She knew that eventually we were going to go away and make the film we wanted to make and, you know, sort of warts and all, that was going to be something that she would have to accept. Not bad having Kate Blanchett play you, though. That's pretty... That's no, I That's think that would be, nice you know, a pretty nice deal. <laughs> and what about Dan Rather? I read that he cried in a recent screening. He did. It was amazing. You know, he came, uh, we premiered at the Toronto International Film Festival, and Dan was kind enough to come and do a Q&A afterwards, and, and, and he teared up a little. And it was, it was sort of amazing to me, too, because I was sitting, I sat through the film, and I got to watch Dan, who was about four rows up from me, so I could watch Robert Redford play Dan on screen and then look at the real Dan watching Robert Redford playing Dan. Incredible. It was sort of this amazing meta moment. Were you able to discuss any of the elements of the film with Dan during filming? I was, yeah. No, again, he was, like Mary, he was very open and, and you know, it was, which was very lucky for me because I had no idea whether he'd want to, to be cooperative or not because it's, you know, it's an odd thing to get a phone call say, we want to make a movie about you, but we don't want to make a movie about the best thing that ever happened to you. We want to make a movie about the worst thing professionally you've ever gone through. Right. But he was very open and helpful. And he must have liked Robert Redford playing him as well. Not bad. Yeah. The casting is phenomenal in this thank film. Thank you, thank you. How important was that for you? It was really important. You know, I think it's, it's, um, it, it's, we try to make a very smart film and, and those are increasingly tough to get made, to be perfectly honest. And, and the only way that's going to happen is if you attract actors who people really, really want to see and make a movie about. So it's a real credit to, to Kate and to, to Bob that they were able to jump, wanted to jump off a cliff with a first time yeah, director. Already Oscar buzz being made about their performances. Oh, well, so they're, fantastic. they're incredible. What was it like working with, she's one of my favorite actresses, Kate Blanchett. She's amazing. You know, I mean, the thing about Kate is she's, she actually actually is everything you want her to be, which you don't always find. With right. I say, you meet people you really admire, and they're not that. And she really is. And she works her tail off. I mean, she just, there's a reason she's as good as she is. She puts in the work, and, and she's dedicated. What was it about this story that drew you in as a director? What is the, what is the point that you're trying to make? I'm, I'm really fascinated with journalism, and, and if I hadn't gone into sort of our silly business, I would have gone into journalism. So I love the world, and, and I love, you know, you know, I grew up with All the President's Men as one of my favorite films. And, and so, you know, first-time directors don't always get a chance to direct a second time, so I sort of thought, if I get only one cut at the plate, what do I, what's the story I want to tell? And a story about journalism was really the one for me. And, and when I read Mary's book, and I, and I learned all of these things I didn't know about, something I thought I knew a lot about, I just thought, this is an amazing story that I really wanted to tell. It is an amazing story. It's also a painful period in the history of CBS News. Yes. Have you had any pushback from CBS execs? Not personally, I haven't, but I know that they are, you know, or, I mean, I think they probably would rather the film hadn't been right. made, and that, and that is completely understandable. Right. All right. Well, thank you, James Vanderbilt, thank for you coming for to talk me. to us today.